everybody, my name is Dev Girl Neko, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Uh, Harmony. This is a guillotine, right? I know it's just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Jeez, this room is filled with stuff. It's a huge water tank. I wonder if this is for a magic trick too. Holy shit, that is a lot of stuff. Alright, well, I think that should be everything, right? Yeah, they mixed up magic tricks and real magic, but this is a pretty thorough collection. Hey. It seems like there are laps for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? Um. Monokuma said that this is the ultimate academy for gifted juvenile- or that this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles was made for the 16 of us. Mm. Is that really true? Mm. Hey, the w rooms in the dorms have locks, but this research lab doesn't. Okay. Ah, it looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Mm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't it's enough. Magic. But I use real magic, not magic tricks. She's not going to budge an inch on that point. <laughs> Alright. Time to go use the hexagonal crank from that zombie game. Oh, I have some place I want to check first. <laughs> some place special. <laughs> I wish I could have heard Kaede play the piano in this classroom. <laughs> you look better now. I didn't think you'd get over Kaede's death so quickly. No. <laughs> we don't have time to be standing around. How heartless. I guess you two weren't as close as you looked. That's not true! That's not true! It's because of the wish Kaede gave me that I have to keep moving. I made a promise. That I won't give up. Amen. Oh, Atua, who art in heaven, please allow Rentaro into thy kingdom. Mm. Ah, sorry, you were praying. Because Cause everyone's so sad over Kaede, they've forgotten about Rentaro. So I'm going to keep praying for him. Huh? N no, it's not that we forgot. Yep. It's okay. It's easier for me to earn points if I pray. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shortcut to the plat to a platinum membership. Her religion has a point system. Hey. Go on, try to solve the puzzle. You're clearly a pro at playing with yourself. <laughs> oh god, I get I get what she means by that. <laughs> Have you recovered from your injury? Huh? Injury? Yes. When Kaito struck you last night? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. It didn't bruise or anything, see? Then. Good. Should it begin to hurt again, please let me know. Though I cannot perform surgeries, I can make use of the medical supplies in the warehouse. Uh, um... You have medical experience too, Kurumi? I am a maid. A true maid must be able to adapt to any situation. Besides, I too intend to fulfill Kaede's request. So I will valiantly perform any task, trivial or otherwise. Kurumi. It sounds like everyone has taken Kaede's final wish to heart. Even if Kaede is no longer with us, Kaede's wish will never vanish. Hey. Shuichi, is there anything Gonda can do? Please say so. There's a dragon that needs its other eye. Oh, I knew you'd come to check this area. That dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. Listen. What, I wonder, does Monokuma wish for us to do? Huh? What do you mean? 
I cannot fathom the reason he would give us those items and make us search the school. Hmm, now that I think of it, the school regulations did mention searching the school. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. This rule is indirectly urging us to search the school. Yes, I suppose that is true. What will come out of our search, and how will everyone react to it? I shall closely observe each of them as well. <laughs> what a creep. Jeez. So you finally decided to raise your head. Huh? What? Your... Up till yesterday, you were always walking around staring at your feet, right? Even when you had to look up, you used your hat to block out what you didn't want to see. <laughs> I can't deny that. This world can be too big and bright for eyes that have spent too long staring down. So be careful, don't let your eyes deceive you. You're right. Yeah, you're right, thanks. <laughs> Sorry for the unsolicited advice. Well then, that was a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? I just gave you your eye back. Uh. Part of the wall is gone. Uh. Whoa, that's so cool! We can get past this wall now! Alright then, charge! Oh. W wait, charging in is dangerous! Um. Kurumi, what's wrong? No. Nothing, but I feel stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall, as if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time? Exactly how long is a long time? From the look of this door, this must be an ultimate research right. lab. Alright, let's go inside. It's not obvious. Oh, well now it is. It's made lab. Why is Kurumi not in here? Oh, there we go. This room gives off an antique vibe. It seems as if... These are Victorian. These decorations adorned the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. Then... This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly. Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, right? That is correct. Ever the detective, I see. So this is the ultimate maid slab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kurumi. Excellent. Hmm, Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah, me too. I see. This appears to be Kurumi's research lab. Being in here it brings a tale to my mind. Karekio closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. Yes. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen in a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey! <laughs> that sounds like the plot for a manga for girls. Is that so? Then are you saying I am some young, love-stuck girl? <laughs> so that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. <laughs> I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. In the Victorian era, many servants lived beneath the manners in which they were employed. They were known as the downstairs people, as a stark reminder of their lower station. There is a doll at the dining table, perhaps a family dinner? Is. This is my research lab, then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. That's kind of creepy. That's creepy as fuck. That is a big ass closet. 
I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Instead, there are a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning? You mean the school? Kurumi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. Hmm. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please, let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will, grant your wishes. I will do anything you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Hmm. There are a lot of washing machines in here. Alrighty then. Oh, wait. These are some powerful cleaning tools. You can get a lot of cleaning done with these. Alright, let's go. I got two more objects to use. Oh, that is cool. Shuichi, we've been waiting for you. Hurry, hurry, we're all ready. Hurry? Hurry for what? Oh, what? what is this? Is there a hidden Monokuma in here? What is this? A treasure chest? Yeah! We found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Shuichi? Huh? Oh no, is it a Mimic? I hope it's not a Mimic. I have bad luck with Mimics. Really? I should open it? I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Shuichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. Alright, fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and... Huh? What's this? A flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. Yoohoo! Maybe try turning it on? Hey. No, that's too dangerous. We should inspect huh? it. Hmm, it'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on. Turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on, Shuichi. It's begging you. Then... <laughs> if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well then. Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway, huh? Bayonara! Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bayonara! Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. But... Wait, inspect it? How? The treasure chest is empty. That flashlight was the only thing inside. Now this is a strange door. It m this might be an ultimate research lab. Based on the design, could it be the ultimate entomologist lab? God, I butchered that pronunciation. Whoa, look at all those bugs! Insect specimens lined the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing! Amazing, this is paradise! I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. There are a ton of insect specimens on display. Wow! Pretty! Bugs shine brighter than sparkly rocks! Mm. Gunta understand, person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I suppose everyone's different. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Oh. Oh, there's no surveillance cameras? That's interesting. Wow, that is an extraordinary amount of bug cages. 
Hmm, lots of larvae and eggs, and they even sleeping in cool place. Uh, um, they were refrigerated? What? It's okay, eggs probably hatch have gone to take good care of well. them. Well, do your best then. If all of these hatch, there will be bugs all over the academy. Releasing all these bugs in a new world, it's like that Bible story, Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood, and humans and animals began... Perhaps that's a little too, dram too dramatic. Amazing! Going to wonder how many bugs there are. Going to so excited to get his own special room. Who make this room anyway? Gonta needs to need to say thank you. Uh, um, I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monocubs. What? No way, Monokuma? But no person who likes a bug can be bad person. Gonta sad. Alrighty then. Next. Stairs. It looks like I can go up to the third floor right. from here. They're a little scary, but I'll try it. Jeez. Where are... Like, I don't see any more hidden Monokumas. That's so weird. From the look of this door, this must be an ultimate research lab. Based on the design, this might be the ultimate tennis pros lab. What would be in here? Probably rackets and training equipment. An entire te indoor tennis court. This is impressive. What is that? A tennis net. It's stretched tight and looks sturdy. Looks like there's not too much to inspect here. Um, this is your lab, right, Ryoma? Must be nice having a whole tennis court here. <laughs> I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis? Hey, Ryoma, are you really not going to play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? Sure. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't ya? It's fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so, when you killed a mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago too? Wait! H hey, come on, Mew. What was that? What? It really happened, yeah? No. Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. <laughs> so it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then, why are you staring at that tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? Are you a little bitch? Cause you're acting like a little bitch right now. What? What's with the stare down? You're scaring me! God damn it, stop looking at the net! Hey! Ooh, now this is an interesting machine. Uh, um... An interesting machine? You mean the one swinging the racket? Ah! With a few mods, this bad boy will look real good. Yeah, my creative juices are flowing. So <laughs> Big metal arm. <laughs> Coming from her, it has to be inappropriate. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh my. I'll investigate around here a little more. Is there a closet or something in the back? There's a shower room in the back. 
A shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Ryoma. <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you turn around to face Shuichi. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is a death glare and a half. I was just kidding. I, I thought you'd laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn, there are three different press and, uh, buttons I can press to run. Any Monokumas? Under construction. Hmm. That's interesting. Whoa, what is with that door? Aha, I found you. Couldn't hide from me. Hmm. What is this? It looks like a door, but... Ah, I see, it's just a painting of a door. It looks like a video game. I think this is called pixel art. That is... wow. From the look of this door, this must be an ultimate research lab. I have no idea what kind, though. I should take a look inside. It's a reach of my hand to the doorknob. Stop it. I did not give you permission to enter. Ah, huh? uh, Maki! So this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. You're right. Goodbye. Oh. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? No. no. Huh? What? But there's no rule against people going into each other's labs. I, I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. Huh? What is going on? Hey! hey what's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tiff now, are you? See, thanks to you, the annoying brat has showed up. Because... You hear that, Shuichi? An annoying brat has showed up, all because of you. Uh, okay. I yeah. So? So, what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki? Don't be sh so pushy, Shuichi. It's not good to do stuff that will make a girl upset, you know. Uh, um... uh okay. I understand. Then... Good. Then stay away. If you try to go inside, it would be extremely painful. For you. <laughs> God. I, I don't know what's funnier. The fact that she looks just like fucking Kara or the Bane quote. Painful? She is definitely Kara. <laughs> what is it? What? Are you going to yell at me now? No, uh, no not at all. Then... Then go away. Well, you know. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, right. you know. But still, doesn't it bug you that she won't let us in? I wonder why. I wonder why as well. It's probably Full of all the dust from all the fucking monsters she's killed. go can I now that I've investigated a little can I go back nope ah go
Whoa, shit, what did I fuck up? Hmm, that's strange. There are fewer plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. They did say it was under construction. I suppose stru construction is still ongoing. But where is this academy built anyway? No one has come to save us. It must be someplace remote. But where could you build a complex like this, a uh, complex this large and secret? Uh, secret. God, I can't talk anymore. I wonder if I go down, can I still play that mini game? Oh. Well, that makes complete sense. Wow. Shuichi, your ocarina playing was so terrible you killed all the plants. The vine suddenly withered. The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Ah, we can get in. We can go in from there, right? Um... You intend to go inside? That course of action seems dangerous. Rise and shine, sign. No. no, it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Pool? Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. 24-hour right. convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. Wonderful, wonderful explanation. Hey. Huh? Th thank you. Are you stupid. Hmm. I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you so happy. So long. What the fuck? Um. What should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not going in for a swim, are what? we? But if it if it is not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It is never bad to have too much information. Right. Yes, I suppose you're right. It looks like there's a pool inside. We should take a closer look. It, sh uh, it would be best to know the specifics. Oh no, I wanted to talk to Tanko! This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Wow, I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool like some big shot celebrity. Um. Too bad I don't know how to swim. <laughs> then I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Hmm. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one is even farther. Alright, well, I think that's all the time I have left for this episode, so thank you everybody for watching, I'll see you all next time, and bye bye